All right, so next up, let's focus on the bass guitar and bass guitar tones. Let's bring this back to the beginning. And right now we're just hearing DI bass. We did record the bass through a really nice tube direct box. So it's got a pretty nice DI tone on its own. So we're probably going to need a gate on this because we're going to add a distortion pedal and then we're also going to add an amp and then we're also going to add some compression to this. So before I add the gate, let's get the tone knocked out. The first thing I'm going to add on here is the bass amp designer. Now, bass amp designer is actually a pretty good amp modeler for bass guitar. The preset I find myself constantly going back to is the classic stack. It's just got like a nice round tone to it. Let's try the first amp model here though. Yeah, even more body. I'm gonna turn off the compressor because we're gonna add our own stage of compression. And one thing I like to do is blend the DI signal with the amp. So Bass Amp Designer has this direct box built into it, and it's got a tone shaper built into it as well. And you can blend between the amp and the direct box. Yeah, I like that DI tone. Then I can sort of blend this, you know, 50-50 or 60-40 with the amp. So again, just DI. and then bass amp designer. Now I want it to have a little more bite as well. Um, and actually one thing you can see down here is we're clipping a bit. So let's go ahead and pull back the output of the amp a bit. And before the amp, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a pedal. You can find this under amps and pedals, stomp boxes, distortion. And the one I'm going to use is the monster fuzz. Now we're not gonna use it like that. Let's find another spot over here. What we're gonna do is we're going to dial up the texture. And then dial back the roar and growl and grain. I take it back, we're gonna increase the grain. So I only want the fuzz really on the, the percussive parts of the bass line, you know, the transients. And so that's gonna give our bass some saturation and bite to it. I think we still need some more bass though. So let's roll up the bass and the EQ. And let's add a stage of compression here after the amp. Typically with bass, I like to use an LA-2 or LA-2A style compression. The closest thing you're gonna find to that in Logic is the vintage Opto circuit. And one of the things you'll notice about bass compression is that it's using the peak signal as the source to determine where the compression threshold is. That's basically just high frequency transient information. So let's set up the sidechain section so that the fundamental frequencies of the bass are used as the sidechain source, not just the peak level. Down here, go to filter, listen, and then put this on low pass and pull down the frequency until you're just hearing the fundamental bass content of the bass. Mm -hmm. 
that's the range that I want the compressor to use as its sidechain source to compress, not the transients. And so what that does is it applies more compression on the bassier notes that are louder and less compression to the ones that aren't as loud or the bass isn't as loud. So we're using the fundamental bass frequencies of the bass to trigger the compression uh, to come in. And of course you gotta turn on the filter after that. So you're not gonna hear the filter. The filter is just controlling how the compression is being applied. This will probably be more noticeable when I get over to the chorus where there are some more low notes. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that bass amp tone. So that's what it sounded like before. Let's add those back in. And if you don't like distorted bass, just take the pedal out before the bass amp. So you can do it either way, it's completely up to you. Let's see what that sounds like with the rhythm guitars in as well. Let's go ahead and add a gate to the bass. In particular, we want it in these sections where there are big gaps between the notes. So I'm gonna add that gate before the Monster Fuzz pedal. So I'll go to Dynamics, I'll go to Noise Gate, and there's actually a pretty good preset in here for bass, Electric Bass Gate. Actually, that's probably a little too aggressive. And we don't need to gate everything at negative 100 dB. We can choose something that's a little more in the middle. And let's see what that sounds like with everything in. We may need to go back into the drums there and do a few edits. Some of those uh, drum hits sound a little bit off in the first verse there, but we can fix that later. In the next video, we'll jump over to the lead guitars and the solo guitars. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.